Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Last week, March 15th, the XO Pure RAW 3 was released, which promises to give sharper, cleaner RAW files without upgrading your camera. While most reviewers will probably test Pure RAW with Adobe Lightroom, I'm going to go a different route to see whether a combination of Pure RAW and Pixelmator Pro 3.3 can give you good enough quality for those looking to forego that expensive subscription. So let's get right into this. Pixelmator Pro costs 50 US dollars and is a huge discount to the 10 US dollar price tag of an Adobe subscription. Recently, Pixelmator Pro improved its raw processing and now produces much greater image quality in version 3.3. DxO Pure Raw is much more expensive. It costs 129 US dollars and that's more than twice the price of Pixelmator Pro. But is it worth it? That's what we're going to be finding out in today's video. Before we do the comparisons, let's start off by quickly reviewing what DxO Pure Raw does. So Pure Raw does a few important things. The first one is AI-powered noise removal. The standout performer here is Deep Prime XD, which gives you clean, crisp images and an improvement in ISO performance of 2.5 stops. DxO Pure Raw also does distortion correction. DxO claims the ability to eliminate lens flaws because of the research they do on each camera and lens combination. Pure Raw is also supposed to deliver better lens sharpness. Similar to distortion correction, DxO claims their knowledge of camera and lens equipment allows them to improve sharpness only on parts of an image where it matters and not the entire image. So now that we know what DxO Pure Raw 3 does, let's batch process some raw files with Pure Raw 3. As you can see, once you open the files, DxO will ask you to download the optics modules for each image in the list. The optics modules contains the specific correction information for the equipment used to take the shot. I'll set the noise removal to DxO Deep Prime XD as that is their latest and greatest noise removal process. The rest of the settings I'll leave at default. Okay, to begin processing, all you need to do is to click process now and wait for the processing to complete. This processing is taking longer than normal because I've set the noise reduction to Deep Prime XD, which is a far more processing intensive operation than the older Deep Prime. Okay, the processing is done. As you can see, you, you can preview the before and after. The improvement will not be very obvious because we haven't edited the DNG files. You can see that a bunch of DNG files were created by DxO. The file size is pretty large for each DNG files, which means it contains a lot of data, which could be very useful in the editing process. Now that we have the DNG files, next, let's do the editing in Pixelmator Pro. We're going to be editing the pure raw created DNG files and the original raw for comparison purposes. We will be performing just basic tone adjustments, which includes exposure, shadows, highlights, and we're also going to perform clarity and texture adjustments. Except for white balance, we won't be doing any other color corrections. Now that the editing is done, let's now see a slideshow comparison which involved the raw files pre-processed with DxO Pure Raw 3 and the raw files without DxO Pure Raw 3 processing.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that slideshow comparison. I think it was obvious that DxO Pure Raw 3 works as advertised. The great news is Pixelmator Pro works with the DNG files with no issue at all. As you've seen, the images are really cleaned up and the color recovered after the demosyking process. And the results are exceptional, as you can see here. The Pure Raw process files do look like output from a camera with a much lower ISO setting. In addition, Puro fixed some ugly distortion while improving the overall sharpness of the image. The only drawback I saw from using Pixelmator Pro was in this particular image. Pixelmator Pro was not able to recover detail in the highlights, which in this case are the nice lamps. More advanced RAW editors would allow you to reduce the highlights a lot better and you would be able to see the markings in the exterior of these lamps. Other than this issue, the rest of the results work great in my view. So to answer the final question, is it the perfect combination? Well, I think for those of us who don't want to pay an expensive subscription and yet still get outstanding image quality, it's hard to beat the combination of Pixelmator Pro and DxO Pure Raw 3. I'm not really sure how much more improvement you can get by paying for a subscription. But what do you think? Is the combination good? Is DxO Pure Raw 3 worth it? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you do use DxO Pure Raw 3. I'd love to hear from you. And finally, to help keep the videos coming, please remember to subscribe, like, and share the videos. Until the next time, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.